Good afternoon and welcome to St. Joseph Parish once again with our live stream Mass for the Lord's Supper. Good afternoon brothers and sisters. Welcome to the celebration of our Mass, our Holy Thursday Mass to be exact, streaming live from St. Joseph Parish here in Belize City.
participate in this most city supper, which are owed by the sun, went about to have himself over to death, and he passed through church a sacrifice you for all eternity, that banquet of his love, drive the break, that may draw from so great a mystery, the fullness of charity and of life, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, against the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. I received from the Lord what I handed unto you, namely, that the Lord Jesus on, on the night in which he was betrayed took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, 
This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This is this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it, in remembrance of me. Every time then you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Flock 
to break bread. To receive the Lord Jesus Christ is a special gift of himself in the Holy Eucharist. We come to give the Lord God thanks. In fact, the word Eucharist means thanksgiving. As the Lord Jesus Christ gave thanks, so we give thanks also. We say, thank you, Lord, for giving us yourself. What else do we see in all of this? We see the awesome love. The awesome love of our God for us. He gives himself to us in spite of who we are. He gives himself to us. Even though mankind are far away from him, God the Father did not forget us. I was a Savior to the world who saved you from your sins. This Savior has come, and now he shares a meal with, with his disciples. He gives himself to them and says, For the forgiveness of sins, to wipe away our sins, to give us an opportunity to be one in mind, heart, and spirit with him. So the Eucharist speaks about oneness, it speaks about unity, it speaks about love. God so loved the world that he gave us only begotten Son. The word love stands out. God loves us so much. He gives himself to us as spiritual food. We see in the Holy Eucharist the sacrifice. The sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ, where he offers himself to you and to me as spiritual food. And we receive him. We allow ourselves to become one with him. We allow ourselves to be transformed. By him. Yes. This is what the Lord wants of us. He desires that we be in unity with him. We know our world has its upsets and so forth. We have our trials, our tensions and so forth. Broken relationships, illnesses as what we are facing now with COVID-19. We face all of this. It's on the troubles we face in our world. We realize that our God has not abandoned us. He is present with us. We believe that He is present with us in a very special way. Every time we come together to break bread, we make the Lord Jesus Christ present in a very special way. Let's give the Son for the appearances of bread and wine. My brothers and sisters, yes, we enter into this tribute. Beginning with the celebration and going on tomorrow, we will focus on the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. With the Good Friday liturgy, in the station of the cross, and then there's a time of quiet, holy Saturday. But in that sense of hope, we look forward with awesome hope to celebrating that awesome moment in history when our Lord Jesus Christ conquered death. By rising. And I speak about that because, about that resurrection, because what we are doing now is just, we're just remembering what happened centuries ago when the Lord God gave Himself to us in a very special way. He came to us in a very special way. He has given us Himself as spiritual food, imperishable food, food that is transforming. And so, if I take in this Eucharist celebration this afternoon, we look forward to hope. Hope for better things, for change. We pray we will be transformed in such a way that we want to live only for Christ. Christ lives in your cry, and I live in Christ. There's a sense of unity, this oneness. We look forward then to celebrating that awesome moment in history when our Lord Jesus Christ conquered death by rising. In this in-between time, the church prays, the church fasts, the, pray, the church begs for forgiveness, the church practices charity, awesome love towards one another. We become concerned about the welfare of others during this time of trial that the world is going through. We tell ourselves we cannot forget our brothers and sisters, those who are ill, those who are suffering those who lack some of the necessities of life. We pray their needs and we met. So my brothers and sisters, yes, uh, we celebrate this Eucharist today. We're going
We call upon the Lord Jesus Christ in the night before he died. He took bread and wine and blessed the bread and wine and said, This is my body, this is my blood. Take and eat, take and drink. Let's allow ourselves to be transformed by the special spiritual food which the Lord Jesus Christ offers to you and to me. in God's love and mercy. Bless his people. Place our prayers and needs for the Lord, our God. all those who are called to lead the faithful in worship may also continue to guide them in being steadfast and humble in doing God's will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that civil leaders and corporate executives may strive always to be humble servants and thus encourage others to do likewise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who do not have food for their basic nourishment may obtain what they need from the kindness of good people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our parish may respond to the gift of the Eucharist by striving to help build up God's kingdom through prayer and good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our We pray for all our teachers and students at home during this time, that our Heavenly Father may continue to bless them and keep them safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord for all those here in our country, Belize, and those in the whole world who have been affected by COVID-19, that our Lord may place his healing hands on them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may come to share in the eternal banquet and feast in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for the awesome gift of yourself. The special gift you gave us as great of yourself as spiritual food. As we journey through life, we realize that we have many, many needs. And some of these needs we have voice, especially as time as our world goes through this crisis. We ask Lord God, the answers to prayers and voice. Those have our hearts. This we ask in your name. Amen. Amen.
sacrifice of God, with our son God, your mighty Father. Sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and good of all his church. And the power of the sacrifice of the Lord is great, mercifully, when he afforded us and graced us grace and salvation and means of life to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and every day, with us, Lord, who is Father Almighty and Son of God. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, we made your Holy Son, Son, High Priest, the new eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, from place to the grave, there is one priesthood to continue in the church. For Christ, not only are those of the royal priesthood, the people can be his own, but the Father's kindness also to his men, who are sharing us the same ministry to lay on hands. We are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, set for your children to pass the battle to the whole people of charity. Nourish, nourish them with his word and treat them in the sacraments. As they give their lives for you, after the salvation of your brothers and sisters, he strive that for the image of Christ himself, and after your constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, love the angels and saints, we do with them as the temptation we are clean. Matthew 72, Lad 8, 7, 6, 
We've done in love, Stephen Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius Alexander, Marcellinus, Hedra, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Artesilia, Anastasia, and our descendants. I will us beseech you to accompany that way our merits and grant us your pardon to Christ our Lord, to whom we will continue to meet all of these good things, O Lord, this inspiring and filled with light. Bless them and stand upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the energy of the Holy Spirit, our glory, and all is yours forever and ever. Sins of the world. 
It is traditional that on the feast or the solemnity of Holy Thursday uh, we leave the church in silence as a time of repentance and uh, reflection and so for our viewers you would observe that we don't have any uh, recessional hymn and uh, which brings us to the conclusion of Holy Thursday celebration tomorrow good friday we'll be here again at 2 p.m where we'll bring good friday's liturgy followed by the stations of the cross <laughs>